Well, there's many of them on a private level, but also on a business level. I think from the business perspective, we would love to sell much more ESG-related investment solutions to a much larger audience. Well, you know, generally speaking, if quantitative easing is going to be less or might even disappear, but I think it, it won't go that fast. Um, generally speaking, we see bond yields going up. And that means the winners are probably in the area of insurance companies and banks. And maybe real estate companies will have some pressure on their valuations. We actually think that in the short term, that impact will be uh, negligible. Um, it might be there in the longer term. I think if we look five years ahead, I think populism will might have an impact on the UK, but not so much on Central and Eastern Europe. Well, generally speaking, if you look at history, which is, I would say, one of the best uh, you know, things to look at in order to forecast the future, um, everything looks pretty expensive. Nevertheless, if you compare various opportunities, we think equities are still more attractive than bonds. So we would mostly look at equities for that. Well, that list uh, is still pretty, pretty long, and that, that ranges from, I would say, Chinese debt to indeed, you know, quantitative easing. How fast will that uh, uh, go down, or might it even go down much faster? Another one is, of course, uh, inflation. Is it coming out higher than we expect today, or what's currently in the prices? I think the hot topic uh, compared to this year and previous years will be about uh, innovation and technology. Uh, we see uh, innovation disrupting uh, more traditional areas like infrastructure, transportation, uh, which are important building blocks in the, in the economies of Central Eastern Europe and also in relation to finance. So I think that will be the topic.